Okay, so in this video we will have a look at the Mini Sopuru 5-in-1 Mac Mini Hub that I have here. I will do an unboxing first and then later on I will connect this to my Mac Mini and you will see how all connections has been done. So let's start by just unboxing this. Really nifty packaging, I think. Very small dock. I like that. I didn't think that the dock should be so small, actually. But apparently it is very small. So, first, before we open the box, we can see uh, that it has a vertical stand, M2 SSD slot, so you can upgrade your SSD with more storage using this dock and you can have two new USB-C ports and also a SD card slot on this hub. Nice! And down here you see it supports M2 NVMe and SATA SSD disks, solid state drives, very nice. And on the back we have the different inputs, USB-C mail, third point two Gen 2, and so on. Two ports, 10 gigabits USB-C mails, and one SD, 104 megabits per second, and we have one SSD slot, as you see there. Nice. So open the box here we have the dock itself what's more in the box we have an instruction manual and some uh, uh, stickers that you should have probably so you don't scratch your mac mini it's a guess actually, I don't know. And here we have some plug of some kind, I don't know really. Or screw maybe. Uh, that I don't know yet what's for, but let's see that later on. And by the way, at the bottom of this video in the description text, you can find links to where you can read more about this and also buy it. There is a couple of links that you can click on there. So the instruction manual shows how to do all this. As you see. And also how to mount an SSD drive. And a lot more. So a nice little manual instruction manual I like that so let's see the dock itself here we have the dock and here we have a USB-C cable that is attached to the dock this should be connected of course to the Mac Mini itself to get all these ports activated on the dock itself. Here we have some uh, stripes to protect the Mac Mini, as you can see. And here we have a Mini Sapporo logo. And at the bottom we have the port to attach the SSD drives. Very nifty packaging actually i like that like so nice very nice indeed so i'm not sure really what these are for but maybe that's in the instruction manual so now we can actually use this dock 
with my Mac Mini. So I will pause this video now and do some connections. So hang on and see how this dock works. Okay, so here we have the Mac Mini now connected to this excellent hub. As you can see, it's a lot of cables because I use a lot of uh, cameras and hard drives and so on because this is for my studio, YouTube studio. So I have a lot of cables on the back side of the Mac Mini, as you can see, and only one at the moment in the front on the Mac Mini hub. And uh, that one cable goes to this uh, iPhone that I use as a camera for most of my table cam videos when I show different stuff down here on the table. So that one was uh, the USB-C cable I use for this hub at the moment. And as you can see there is also one USB-C port more there and an SD card and a micro SD card on the front. So if you have cameras with the SD cards, so this is an excellent hub because you can easily plug them in into the hub. And also you see some hard drives I have, external hard drives for longer storage of files and also an S SSD drive there from Samsung, a T7 SSD drive. So everything here is uh, microphones and uh, ca cameras and uh, hard drives mainly on the back side here and also an HDMI of course to my 55 inch monitor and I also have a uh, soundbar when video editing. So all in all you can see I have a microphone there and I have a Samsung Note 10 Plus as a camera and I have an iPhone 10s Max as a camera and I have this microphone and the, this 55 inch TV as a monitor and uh, Apple keyboard, Apple touchpad. So this is my setup at the moment, not the most beautiful maybe, but uh, it works and is a very nice to have this hub. The only thing I haven't done yet is install an SSD drive so I get even more storage. That will come later on when I have bought one. So that will be interesting to try. Okay, bye.